I hope you're all as excited as we are about the work that's being done to advance the Lakehouse paradigm. To summarize, Delta sharing is the world's first open protocol for data sharing in a secure way, enabling collaboration. It has great ecosystem support already, and we believe it will redefine data sharing in the same way that the lake house is redefining how people use data lakes and data warehouses together. Delta Live Tables is going to make the experience of building reliable data pipelines on Delta Lake extremely easy by taking a lot of the manual legwork out of the process. And with the Unity Catalog, you'll be able to easily govern all of your lake house data across any cloud. And as Reynold just mentioned, Photon is rapidly making the lake house the ideal home for all traditional analytic workloads. Microsoft has seen the potential of data and AI for a long time. So please join me in a chat with Rohan Kumar, CVP of Azure Data at Microsoft, as we discuss the trends happening in the industry. I'm super excited to have Rohan Kumar, Corporate Vice President of Azure Data at Microsoft with us again at Data and AI Summit. Welcome, Rohan. Thank you, Ali. It's great to join you for the Data and AI Summit. This is an event I look forward to every year. So you've been with the sort of, since the beginning of the partnership with us on Azure Databricks since 2017. Uh, tell us a little bit about your observations. Yes, it's been an amazing partnership with you and the rest of the team, Ali. And it's, uh, it's been a very good experience co-engineering Azure Databricks. As you mentioned, you know, Microsoft and Databricks have a unique uh, you know, first party service relationship. Uh, this partnership enables distinct benefits to our customers, not offered in any other cloud. Over the years, We've baked in benefits such as our native security and identity offerings, enabling customers to safeguard their most sensitive data and enhance compliance and our ability to provide unified mission critical support as a simplified engagement model. The first party integration and our unique strategic alliance save customers a lot of time and effort and significantly accelerates time to value. Absolutely. Uh, we've really enjoyed the first party partnership. And last September, together, we announced exclusive announcement of Photon at Ignite. And I'm curious, you know, now some time has passed and we've worked with customers. What are you hearing about that? You know, customers are really excited about Photon, Ali. I mean, early learning with Photon has demonstrated uh, that it can be up to 20 times faster than open source Spark. Also, Photon exclusive preview on Azure is a great example of our partnership. Customers love the fact that Photon is available first on Azure Databricks. And within the first month of launching the preview, we had nearly 200 registrations to get access to the preview, including innovation-driven organizations like Grab and CarMax. Grab, for those who are unaware, is the largest online to offline multi-service platform in Southeast Asia. Its various apps have been downloaded more than 200 million times, and it generates over 6 billion transactions for transport, food, and grocery delivery and digital payment purposes. The Grab team is excited to accelerate analytics using Azure Databricks and Photon to help identify opportunities for millions of people across Southeast Asia. Let's talk about our joint customers. Uh, a lot of joint customers that have been using Azure Databricks with other Azure data services and other Azure uh, services that are provided. Can you tell us a little bit about what they're doing and some of the interesting use cases? Absolutely. AB and AMRO bank comes to mind right away. AB and AMRO is one of the Netherlands' largest full service banks. They've been on a journey to modernize systems that house customer marketing and financial reporting data. A cloud-based integrated data platform enables them to build an enterprise-grade data and analytics platform solution. With Azure Databricks for data curation and pre-processing, Synapse Analytics as a secure data warehouse, and Power BI as their reporting and dashboarding tool, the solution lets AB and AMRO reap the benefits of best-in-class capabilities. The solution is already increasing their agility so that AB and AMRO can bring new services and use cases to market much more quickly with a data driven approach. The new platform provides improved insights, giving the company an end-to-end -end view of the customer, marketing, and financial data to empower the users to make faster and more accurate business decisions. And with discount provisions like reserve capacity, AB and AMRO is also able to dramatically reduce TCO. Another customer that comes to mind is Walgreens Boots Alliance. They're a global leader in retail and wholesale pharmacy. In the US alone, Walgreens operates more than 9,000 stores and processes a billion prescriptions a year. With Azure Databricks and Delta Lake, Walgreens is building an open data lake to enable real-time data engineering pipelines to process millions of transactions in seconds to improve their pharmacy customer experience and optimize operations. And then Walgreens combines this with AutoML and MLOps capabilities in Azure Machine Learning to expand their data science teams and create thousands of models to enrich loyalty programs and reduce customer churn. Those are some amazing examples. 
at Databricks, one of the trends we are seeing is that customers are using data lakes and AI in a combined approach to build open, simple, collaborative solutions. We call it the lakehouse paradigm. Uh, what are the trends you are seeing uh, with our joint customers? To answer your question, let me break it into two parts. First, open architectures. We're seeing customers choose to run their data and AI workloads using open standards. For example, Delta Lake, which integrates across products on Azure. At Microsoft, we also continue to support the community by actively contributing. A recent example is the hyperspace support for Delta Lake, which helps accelerate query creation with indexes. Similarly, on the ML side, we are active contributors to MLflow and have worked to integrate it seamlessly with Azure Machine Learning. Customers love this active collaboration with the OSS community as it helps them accelerate time to value. Now the second aspect, collaboration. A great example is Databricks. The joint engineering effort with Databricks ensures seamless integration of Azure Databricks with services such as Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Lake Storage, Azure Synapse, and Power BI to deliver consistently integrated experience for our customers. The highly optimized Azure Synapse Connector, for example, is the most popular service connected across all of Databricks. Over 1,500 customers such as Marks and Spencer, Rockwell Automation have used Azure Databricks and Azure Synapse together to modernize their analytics platform in the cloud and gain high performance and scalability. For ad hoc reporting and root cause analysis type scenarios, the Power BI connected to Azure Databricks makes it easier and more performant to deliver great BI visualizations and reports through the same Power BI service. These are just some quick examples of the open and collaborative approach we've taken as a part of the analytics and AI offerings. The combination of these services operating seamlessly together reinforces why Azure is the preferred destination for running mission critical analytics and AI workloads. So Rohan, another aspect that we're seeing more and more is openness and open standards and open source around governance and security for our joint customers. Are you seeing those trends and what are you seeing uh, around that? Sure, Ali. In these times when there is increased scrutiny around how data is consumed, Ensuring the right use of data is of utmost importance for our customers. To me, right use means meeting corporate security, privacy, and compliance standards, as well as ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements. Satya announced Azure Purview in December last year. Purview is a unified data governance service that helps customers maximize their business value of their data. Purview offers customers a hub where users from data engineers and data scientists to business and technical data analysts can publish, find, understand data assets across the enterprise. Purview also follows the same principles of openness and collaboration as we discussed earlier. Purview is designed to integrate seamlessly with Apache Atlas, which is a common open source solution for some of the data governance needs. This allows customers to build on their existing investments. Purview integrates with data systems in Azure, on-premises, and other clouds, allowing our customers to greatly accelerate their data governance journey. At Microsoft, we believe that data sharing should be an open and not lock customers into using a specific data store or analytics platform. Our investment in Azure Data Share reflects that point of view, and we see Delta Share as being aligned with that vision. Going forward, we see real potential for synergy between Azure Data Share, Azure Purview, and Delta Sharing. Yeah, we're super excited about that partnership and the collaboration between those services. On that note, thank you so much, Rohan, for joining us today. It's been an absolute pleasure working with your team and collaborating, and we're looking forward to deepening the partnership for many years to come. Any final comments? Thank you, Ali, to you and the rest of the Databricks team for being such amazing partners. And thanks to everyone for listening in. Hope you all have a great rest of the summit. Please stay safe. Thank you.